Acknowledging outstanding parts fabricators provides an opportunity to raise the bar, to chase innovative ideas, and to work together to harness the full potential of this advanced manufacturing technology. Once again, parts fabricators have demonstrated PM's versatility and unique ability to challenge competing technologies. Through innovative design and shape complexity, they are implementing strategic tools to overcome challenges and provide solutions for end users. Now, it is time to recognize the best of the best as we present the grand prize winners as chosen by this year's judges. Divergent Technologies Incorporated received a grand prize in the automotive engine category for metal AM components for an exhaust tip. This exhaust tip is used to direct reaction gases away from combustion inside the engine of the Zinger 21C hybrid sports car. The part was built using laser powder bed fusion and a built-in honeycomb structure was iteratively positioned along the flow pathway to optimize weight balance and ideal pressure drop. The exhaust tip is made from Inconel 625 to greater than 90 99% relative density and has an ultimate tensile strength of 950 megapascal, a yield strength of 655 megapascal, and an elongation of 42% in the as-built condition. No post-processing heat treatment is required to homogenize the microstructure. Four parts are built per day on a single AM machine using novel laser scanning strategies. The built part has a tolerance of plus or minus 1.5 millimeters. Additive manufacturing enabled rapid iterative design loops, manufacturing, and testing to optimize the product design in less than one month. A similar product would take six months to produce via conventional manufacturing. Light weighting was a particular focus of the part design aimed at improving fuel economy. Amis Group Centering SA received a grand prize in the automotive transmission for conventional PM components for a hub used in the clutch of a transfer case of a four-wheel drive car. Used as a hub in the clutch of a transfer case of a four-wheel drive car, this large 850-gram part is made using FL4405-150HT and has a 7.0 grams per cubic centimeter minimum density in any section of the component. Centered at 1120 degrees Celsius, the part are 100% checked for cracks using magnetic particle inspection. The inner diameter of the part and flange are turned, and the lateral holes are drilled. The parts are case-hardened, tempered, and shot-peened. The inner diameter tolerances, perpendicularity of the spline versus the flange face, and the parallelism of the opposed outer flange versus the inner flange face are highly controlled. The customer qualified the parts by applying four bench tests, a static strength test, a pulse fatigue test, a dynamic fatigue test, and a balancing rotary test. PM was selected over a machined foraging due to its ability to combine complex part shape, high accuracy of some features without machining, low material waste, and a competitive cost. A 25% reduction in material waste was achieved compared with machining the part from a forging. MPP and Customer Tactile Engineering received a grand prize in the electronic electrical category for MIM components for a core plate. The Braille display tablet allows vision-impaired people to experience an entirely new way to access dynamic content and multi-line Braille thanks to the MIM core plate. The MIM core plate is an extremely challenging part to produce. It requires strict adherence to tight tolerances, flatness, absence of flashing, and magnetism. The device uses magnetic latching that requires a specific amount of holding force for effective operation. Previously, sorting parts for flatness had prevented a commitment to supplying larger volumes of the tablets to end users. MIM 174PH stainless steel was the solution for initial production that commenced in a two-cavity tool that will be upgraded to a four-cavity for increased production quantities. If the parts are not flat, they will scrape the wound copper coils during the assembly, creating a short circuit. The parts are used in the first device, able to display tactile graphics that move and change beneath the user's fingers. Waste from traditional machining would have exceeded 40% and cost more than 10 times the MIM parts. APG MIM, a division of Nichols Portland Incorporated, and customer Page Musical received a grand prize in the Hand Tools Recreation category for MIM components for a guitar capo assembly. This high-end, six-string guitar capo assembly comprising a saddle, adjustment guide, bar, and yoke is used to temporarily shorten the strings on a guitar, raising the pitch of the unfretted or open strings while changing the key of the open position chords. Each of the three parts is made using MIM 174PH stainless steel. 
The challenging part design led to issues with tool design, molding, debinding, and centering operations. All hole diameters are held to less than 0.04 millimeters total tolerance as centered, with no further processing required. The yoke profile is held tightly for the overall size of the component to assemble properly with the bar. The star-shaped profile on the yoke needs to match the threaded design of the adjustment guide. The saddle and bar are highly cosmetic components that require precision polished tooling. With all critical components manufactured at one source, there was greater part design flexibility, ability to iterate changes within the assembly, and cost reductions over machined components. FMS Corporation and Customer Dynamis Solutions received a grand prize in the hardware appliances category for conventional PM components for a support bushing. The support bushings solve a problem encountered during cleaning and maintenance of the heliostats in a concentrated solar power generation application. Serving as clamping washers, the original connection used a 9.5 millimeter fastener and lock washer to secure the azimuth drive to the pylon and the hole elongated in service. Heliostats equipped with large mirrors are arranged in a circle around a central receiver tower and focus solar rays to heat a synthetic oil that is used to generate steam to power a turbine and generate electricity. The PM component facilitates an improved connection between the azimuth drive of a heliostat and a fixed steel support pylon in the ground. The part is made from FLC2-4808 and center hardened. Secondary processes include only resin impregnation and yellow zinc plating with a sealant applied to enhance corrosion protection. Five PM support bushings are required for each heliostat assembly. Initial parts were shipped to the customer 51 working days from the final design approval, and the whole process from the initial phone call to tangible parts took less than six months. Kenametal Incorporated received a grand prize in the hardware appliances category for metal AM components for a Sater bore reaming tool. This Sater bore reaming tool is used for machining Sater bore housings for electric vehicle motors. It machines two diameters concurrently in one pass. The larger diameter of 220 millimeters is supported by six radially extending arms, each holding a four-edged polycrystalline diamond insert and guide pad. The smaller 140 millimeters diameter features another four cutting insert. Inserts. Providing coolant to the cutting edges was a challenge. The flow of coolant was optimized by an integrated manifold structure to deliver coolant evenly from a central tube to the individual channels that exit at six cutting edges and guide pads on the larger cutting diameter. The margining steel component was built using laser powder bed fusion with one part per build along with quality samples and hardened. The part design allowed large sections of the component to be self-supporting. The part's connection interface was machined to enable assembly of the tool structure. The AM process allowed the production of a lightweight component, facilitating manual and automated tool handling, as well as enabling faster and more efficient acceleration of the machine spindle. Advanced Powder Products Incorporated received a grand prize in the medical dental category for MIM components for a screw chuck. Used during orthopedic surgery, this screw chuck is part of a larger assembly that allows a surgeon to drill screws into the spinal regions of patients. Once the screw is inserted, the assembly needs to be broken in two and easily removed. Initially, the part was presented as a one-piece design. However, after extensive design modifications, the MIM solution was a two-piece assembly, made from MIM 174 pH stainless steel and the H900 condition, joined by laser welding. The part is over 100 millimeters long with thin walls and relatively heavy features supported only by a 1.5 millimeters column. Complex fixtures were needed to support these fragile features and prevent distortion and cracking during sintering. The part length experienced non-isotropic shrinkage during sintering that had to be accounted for in the design. Sizing and machining operations were performed on the sintered parts to meet print specifications and prepare the weld surfaces for laser welding. The small weld surfaces needed to be flat and parallel to the remainder of the part. Only minor secondary operations are required. 3DEO Incorporated and customer Zimmer Biomet received a grand prize in the medical dental category for metal AM components for bone marrow harvesters. These 6 and 8 mm 17.4 pH stainless steel bone marrow harvesters are used in advanced suction curatage technology to harvest small to large volumes of cancellous trabecular bone and non-diluted bone marrow aspirate in a few minutes through a minimally invasive incision. The hybrid metal AM process is augmented by three critical auxiliary 
auxiliary techniques, benching, reaming, and staging during centering. Through benching and reaming, exceptional roundness and surface finish are achieved that are essential for the function and reliability of the device in medical applications. Control over the centering staging process ensures the physical and mechanical performance of the devices, including tensile strength, hardness, and fatigue resistance, meet the rigorous standards for medical devices. The complexity and expense associated with post-processing operations is eliminated by the selected AM approach and waste is minimized. Tritec Titanium Parts, LLC, and customer Primary Weapon Systems received a grand prize in the military firearms category for MIM components for a universal trunnion. This universal trunnion is used in an innovative rifle platform that provides quick barrel changing and allows one weapon to fire multiple calibers with minimal changeover of parts and time. The part is large for MIM, let alone MIM Titanium, weighing in at 220 grams. In the green state, it measures 127 by 38 by 64 millimeters prior to about 15% shrinkage during centering. The single part mold is complex, requires high injection molding pressure, and creative gating is used to ensure uniform mold fill. Centering is a challenge due to part geometry, size, and weight. Dimensions are held to plus or minus 0.13 millimeters, which is about 0.025% of the length of the part, a very tight tolerance for MIM. About 85% of the part surfaces are net shape. The trunnion requires annealing for post machining ease, but does not need hot isostatic processing to meet customer performance requirements. The titanium, aluminum, vanadium grade 5 material properties were exceeded, and the trunnion was proven through a 20,000 round firing test. The part was initially slated for laser powder bed fusion, but MIM was selected for performance and quantity requirements. Amero Incorporated and Customer Wedgetail Industries received a grand prize in the military firearms category for metal AM components for a firearm suppressor. This firearm suppressor is built layer by layer using the laser powder bed fusion process with either a titanium aluminum vanadium alloy or a nickel chromium alloy. Firearm suppressors are typically manufactured as an assembly of precision machined components and joined with one or more threaded joints. The function of the suppressor is to provide multiple chambers for gas expansion and a tortuous pathway that baffles the acoustic emissions of the exhaust gases when discharging a firearm. Laser powder bed fusion provided the opportunity to manufacture very complex suppressor designs that contain no mechanical joints and permits design details that are not achievable through traditional manufacturing processes. Multiple suppressor designs can be built during one machine cycle. The as-built parts are removed from the build plate by wire EDM and stress relieved prior to machining an internal thread at one end for assembly to the barrel of the weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the winners of the grand prizes in the 2024 PM Design Excellence Awards competition. Please join us in saluting their achievements as we invite company representatives to come to the stage to accept their awards.